Welcome to episode four of the Thank You series, and today we are talking about the one, the only, Sidka. Sidka is the embodiment of this message, okay? And I understand that more than Sitka can go into this category, but Sitka is one of those individuals. He is very mature for his age. Sitka, I, I might get your age wrong again. Wrong again. Sitka, I want to say, is about 14, 15 years old. And he is someone that feels like he is around, you know, I mean, he, he, just, he just, he acts older than he is, which is super, super awesome to see. Most people around his age group are kind of douchebags. Uh, but Sitka is not one of those people. To show how much that I feel in terms of uh, trustworthy to Sitka and how much I realize he is going to be respectful to others, whenever we have our uh, sub-tournaments on Saturdays, he's one of the first person I look to to be a captain because I know that even though he has people below him, in term, or not below him, but people that will be playing in terms of his captain leadership uh, for that sub-tournament, he is younger and they are going to respect him. And if not, he can call them out on it. He will go ahead and let me know if someone does not abide by my rules in terms of wanting the tournament to be fun, wanting the tournament to be non-toxic, be welcoming to others. And Sitka is an embodiment of that. Another thing, I mean, he's a hardworking young man. For being that age, he tells me that he works with his uh, father uh, painting tennis courts on the weekends. When I was his age, I wasn't lifting no 50 pounds. Fuck that. He told me that was a, those are 50 pound paint, paint cans. I don't lift 50 pounds now. I mean, look at these biceps. I know it looks like it, but I really don't. Sitka is a hardworking, mature young man that his parents should be super proud of. Everything that, and watch him show this video for some reason. He goes, shows this video to his parents and here's me cursing during, while I'm talking. But uh, he is a, uh, he's a very, very mature young man. Uh, when it comes to when it comes to clips I want to show about Sitka, there's one clip individual, or in particularly, that embodies everything about Sitka because he is one of the best players that I have seen in Rainbow Six Siege. And he can pull off a clutch like no one else. He really can. But at this moment, he shows us why he can pull off a clutch, but he also shows why he can also fall flat on his face. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Cool. Oh, behind you! Sika! <laughs> oh my god! Stop the hostiles from securing the container. Prevent further action. You're such a fucking dumb! You're so mad! <laughs> oh my god. So when it comes to Sitka and impacts, I think it was that moment in particular where Sitka thought to himself, okay, I hurt myself with impact, all these people laughed at me, I'm now going to impact everybody else. Because now all it does is impact us, it feels like. Another moment that happened just recently in our, um, in our Rainbow Six Siege streams, strums, is Sitka went for something that, uh, I mean, at that moment was fine because we were going to win the round, we were doing everything, but watch what he goes for. Uh, oh, blue, still oh. blue, still blue. I got him, I got him. 360! You're so mad, Sika! You're so mad! I was watching you! He actually did a 360! And he potato! And I tell you what, Sika, if you just started a trend of people trying to do what you just did, just trying to make a cool clip or something like that, I'm gonna come after you. I'm gonna come after you with everything I have. Because Sika did it at the right moment. We were up 4-1 or something like that. I haven't seen the clip yet. Hopefully I can find it. We were up 4-1. We were going to win that round no matter what. We were going to win that round. To compliment his play style for a, a quick moment, Sika, in terms of the roam game, I have noticed, uh, I used to play Vigil a lot, if you guys don't know or if you, didn't, if you never noticed. I used to play Vigil all the time. And I think I even mentioned this in the chat. But I stopped playing Vigil. The reason I stopped playing Vigil is was I wasn't playing him the correct way or maybe not the correct way, but Sitka showed me that he played him so much better. Sitka would know when to roam uh, as Vigil, when to come back a point, when to put off a couple pop shots, go away and waste more time. It was mostly during the sub-tournaments where I got to see how good 
vigil or Sika was as a vigil and how poorly I played him. So now I don't even play vigil. So that's a compliment to you, Sika, of how great you played vigil. Basically made me go, I I, I can't play vigil no more because I got I got nothing on the the skill set that you had with him. Uh, one bad thing about Sika though, one bad thing I got to bring it up. I'm sorry, Sika, I got to bring it up. Philadelphia Eagles fan. Philadelphia Eagles fan, bandwagon jumper, dude. I bet right when they won the Super Bowl last year, he's like, oh, I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Motherfucker. I'm just, I'm kidding. He, he most likely, his, his parents are Philadelphia Eagles fans. Uh, but coming to the 49er side, I know we're not having that good of a year this year, but next year. I'm going to say, I'm going to keep saying next year all the freaking time, apparently. So thank you so much, Sitka, for supporting my channel, for supporting me, for being a very respectable young man who has made his own mark in our channel. I know you recently just had your 11th month resub, and it's almost hard to imagine the channel and the chat without you. And there was a moment where obviously you weren't a part of it, and but now we can't, I can't, that fucking motorcycle, I can't imagine the chat without you and your presence. Thank you so much for being who you are. Thank you so much for giving us laughs with your impact grenades, even if you don't do it on purpose, which obviously I, I assume you don't. But thank you again, Sitka, for being that. Come to the 49ers side. That's all I'm going to add, though. Have a great one. Thank you, Sitka. Next week on the Thank You series, we will be talking about Spongy Dude. Spongy Dude. Spongy Dude does whatever a spongy dude can. Smushy, if you're watching this, I need the lyrics to that song. Please DM me on Twitter. We will be talking about the one, the only, Simple Dude next week on the Thank You Series Episode 5. If you would like your name put on this wheel, just like every other week, today in the comment section below, write Thank You Sidka. Again, Thank You Sidka in the comment section below. You will be on this wheel next week, and we may talk about you after we talk about Spongy Dude. Spongy Dude does whatever a spongy dude can. Hey guys, make sure to check out all my things in the description list below.